You are now watching Hey Jude. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your favorite one and done connoisseur. I want to fight you. <laughs> hey Jude here. And today, by popular request, I'm going to go ahead and commentate over some matches that I've had on Dragon Ball Fighters. So if this is something you guys enjoy, if this is something you guys are interested in, and you want to see more of it on the channel, make sure to show support and like the video and comment down below. Because this is what I'm going to be using as to like gauge the interest on the actual interest on my channel before I actually go ahead and make more. So if this is something you guys want to go ahead and see more of on the channel, let me know by liking and commenting. Either way, let's go ahead and get started with that first match. Ready? Now this guy is a habitual rage quitter. So it's unfortunate that the only decent connection I've had with, with anyone for the past two weeks is with this guy. Because I already know before the match is over, he's already just going to rage quit and he's going to waste my time. So as you guys can see, I'm going to be, you know, toying with him a lot, teabagging, just pretty much trying to frustrate him, uh, you know, just to give him some of that frustration back that I have right back at him so he can feel it. But either way, yeah, here we go. He has Vegito on his team with, well, he pretty much has Team Blue. Everybody is blue on his team. Uh, Vegeta Blue, Goku Blue, and Vegeta Blue, and then I'm rocking the GT Goku with Super Saiyan Goku and Base Goku. This is just a new team that I'm trying out for right now. Honestly, I probably won't play it again. Not a big fan of the of the synergy with this team especially for what i'm used to um and i really just want to try out base goku and base goku uh, i feel like i should make another team for him either way i took down his first character we're on to his goku blue and he goes ahead and opens it up with his Vegeta assist into that teleport with goku and i get caught lacking right here now mind you guys you may not be able to see well you know what let me not even say anything i got caught lacking he caught me i go ahead and, and uh z tag into my base goku and we're gonna go ahead and get started and you can see me playing around teabag right here but i get caught for that and uh yeah um, is he gonna tag me out yeah he tagged me out i don't know why he tagged me out but he tagged me out and here i'm just kind of taking the pressure looking for an opening so i can just get out of there and right here yeah you can see me vanish wasn't expecting to confirm which is how i got this 2m starter as i just i just continued it after i saw that i was hitting and uh yeah he, he lacked now this one this yeah man i don't know what happened here like that vegeto counter lasts way too long or maybe i just need to get used to it and here's another fun fact if you ever want to beat me in fighters easy for free just go ahead and dragon rush i never tech them it's hard for me to tech them i'm not sure if i'm reacting too early or too late sometimes my limb will come out and dragon rush will eat it sometimes I feel like I tech it right on point, but I still eat it. If you guys know how to tech Dragon Rush, please let me know down below. How do you tech it? What's the timing for it? Because I know how to tech it. What's the timing for it? Because I never seem to get it, you know, get it. And yeah, you guys just saw that Sonic Fox reset. I vanish and then let him fall down. And then I continue the follow up with that, that pressure. And right here, I think he's going to be done. I think he's done for. And yeah, right here is where you're going to see it. You're going to see it right here. My man's never fails. Rage quits every time. It's all or nothing. Now with these next few matches, like I said before, guys, keep in mind that even though you may not be able to see it in the footage, whether it says it's delaying for two or three frames, please be aware that it definitely feels like both of us are fighting underwater. And sometimes it even gets so bad that it actually shows like the lag spiking, uh, you know, where we'll freeze and then continue. But... Either way, playing this guy, uh, Ajax Fidelity, and he's actually pretty good. I think I've seen his name around, uh, but you know what I'm saying? I'm not too sure. I know I'm familiar with this guy because I've played him quite a few times. And like I said, for the past two weeks, we've had, or I've had, really bad connection. I'm pretty sure I've played him on better connection before. But yeah, starting off, he has 17, Broly, and Frieza on that team. And these are some of the characters that you probably won't see the most of, at least in Dragon Ball Fighters in this recent patch. And uh, yeah, I think Broly's probably the most recent. And, you know, a lot of people had high hopes for 17, but unfortunately for 17, even with this new update, um, yeah, most people aren't flying to him. And these are a couple of people that I'm not too familiar with, uh, 17 being the most. But he does have two of the best zoners, if not the best zoners in the game, Broly and Frieza. Nobody can fight me on that. I don't care what you say. These guys are the best zoners in Dragon Ball Fighters, and yeah, he actually took down one of my characters already, the base Goku, and here I am just actually landing a hit right now. I'm just trying to keep the pressure on him, seems like he's ready for exactly what I'm delivering, and yeah, right there I just took a gamble because his grab is something that I just don't believe you can react to right now, 
and it gives him way too much off of that grab. So I just went, I hell married it, super dash, and I was able to punish it. But unfortunately, I got caught, and I ate a full combo into level three. He has the pressure on me once again right now. I get opened up because I'm too unfamiliar with these characters, and honestly, I would have gotten opened up either way. And here I am, I'm about to eat a level... Oh no, I don't, I don't actually. He doesn't use it, he decides to keep it so that he can, uh... Just continue the pressure. Like I said, I just want I wanted to get out of there right there. So I really thought he was just going to jump 2H and he did not. And I paid for it. Now, you can see the great synergy between Frieza and Broly. I personally believe they have great synergy. And uh, yeah, he locked me down immediately as soon as the match began with that Frieza. I don't even know what it's called with the Broly assist. Nothing I could do. I had to eat that pressure. I sparked to get out of the pressure to at least just get a fighting chance. Because the guy has been eating me up the entire match. I just sparked. This guy has three characters. I probably should have sparked sooner than at least saved one of my characters. But, um, yeah, this guy has been tearing me up the entire match. No matter what I was doing, he was just prepared for it. You can just tell that he was probably used to better stuff than what I could offer him at this point. And, uh, yeah, I just super dashed because that was just like a, a, a hesitation super dash. Especially with, uh, with, uh, sparking on because I was just expecting to, uh, you know, spam him with the lights after super dash connects but yeah he's just prepared for everything i have to offer and do i even do i even take his freeze off let's see do i do i get his freeze off? doesn't look like it he's opening me up with that 2 with freeze this right here i didn't think it was going to connect i thought it was going to drop but hey man this guy knows freezer he he combos directly into that z assist or z change uh level 3 with broly and yeah he has that level 3 oki and that was really nice i was not prepared for that he whiffed the jumping h and went directly into the grab and I was done. Moving on to this next match, I am playing someone that I've, I honestly, I, I've played a few times. One time I think I played him like freaking 30, 40, or 50 games in a row. But you guys know me, I'm the one and done connoisseur. Either way, uh, yeah, um, Lotus Asakura. Um, yeah, this is unfortunately one of the times, like I said, for these past two weeks, I haven't had the best connections, and it's really gonna show here, well, you know, I'm not, I'm not too sure if it's gonna show, but yeah, it really feels like we're fighting underwater. Now, he does play Bardock, Trunks, and Goku Black, which he really does make a good use of, and, uh, his Trunks especially, I think that's going to be the character to look out for on his team, because he does a lot, Trunks, number one, you're not gonna see too much Trunks players, and number two, when you do see him, you don't really see them, see them using the things uh or using as much as lotus uses when it comes to trunks so it's always a pleasure fighting lotus he likes to use a lot of the flips whether that's in block streams whether he's trying to um get out of pressure uses them in pretty creative ways or ways that you would assume that's how he would be used. uh that's how he does use them and right there i tried to dragon rush after that jump 2h uh getting him out of the hit stun, but he was ready for it and he caught me and i get caught with that uh, double overhead and I'm eating a full combo right now now is he going to kill oh no he drops the combo I don't know if you guys saw it but there was a little lag spike there where even if even after fighting underwater there was a jump in the lag and he finishes me off right here so he was able to recover fortunately for him back to trunks and just killing off my base Goku um yeah Super Saiyan Goku is probably the character that I feel the most comfortable with on this team I've been playing Goku ever since I think the game launched and not only that, he just feels like a very solid character where you're in control of every movement that he does. I don't think there's one, I don't think there's any move that I feel like I'm out of control of. So if I get caught, if I get opened up, it was definitely because of me. But yeah, I tried to guard cancel and he was ready for it. And once again, that lag kicked in and saved me. And uh, yeah, unfortunately for him, or, well, you know, I wasn't even able to do anything off of it. But it really, it really is messing us up. You can see us dropping the combo, so... You know, it may not be A1 gameplay, both of us on our on our top, you know, gear. But, you know, this is just the best I could have gotten for you guys at this time because of the fact that of the lag. But right there you saw he tried to backdash and then I used Goku's auto combo to chase him down. Not too many people um, are using it or I see use it. The smart ones do. The people who are familiar with that auto combo would know how good it is. I see them using it. It will catch backdash. It will catch people charging at you. Um definitely make use of it and definitely be on the lookout for it whenever you're playing a gt goku and once again this is just kind of like you can see the matchup knowledge coming into play in terms of like uh me having played lotus before and him having played me um and yeah like i said he tried something new there where he he did that that string into the overhead into the dragon rush i definitely wasn't prepared for it right there 
I, I normally don't see it done right there and he definitely opened me up right here and I think he's gonna do the, the knockdown now right here I was afraid he was gonna do a level three because I did not want to deal with that level three pressure and you know one thing about Lotus I noticed is he doesn't really like to go for level threes if he doesn't feel like they're gonna kill uh, definitely if you do see this or if someone knows him definitely uh let him know hey man go for that level three because even if it doesn't kill it gives you that that pressure and you potentially can kill off of it but either way getting right into it it is 2v2 right now i was able to get that one character back and it seems like i'm actually in the advantage right now but he has sparking so that would put him at an advantage unfortunately for him it lagged when i was supposed to do instant air jump h and he would reflect it lag spike caused my input to to drop out and it messed up the timing for his reflect and uh i was able to kill off his trunks and now he has a level two sparking with one character unfortunate and uh yeah, right here, I'm very afraid of sparking. I normally look for overheads after the block streams. You guys already know it's the it's the it's the online favorite. It's everybody's favorite. Block string into overhead into vanish to confirm off of it. And yeah, your whole life is just ruined. But yeah, right here I think the lag is getting to him as it is me. And he does full screen dive kick. And right there, I think he just thought I was gonna kill him with that other combo. And he didn't expect lag for me to drop the combo, so I just kinda Finished it up right here, and yeah, that was the match. So I ran into this guy again, and like I said, connection isn't the best, but just getting right into it. He's using those 17 records. I'm not too afraid of 17 records when they're by themselves because they're not too hard to react to, especially over it. Kind of slow. If you're looking out for it, you can react to it. So I was fortunate enough to open him up, and for those of you who may be wondering why I'm doing uh, the 2H uh, to finish the combo instead of the orb. Uh, that's mostly for positioning so that I can so that I can continue pressure. Because if you use the orb, it sends them you know full across screen. I nor I'll normally use the orb if I'm like in the corner or if I want to put them in the corner. But nine times out of ten, it's gonna be that 2H so I can continue the pressure and I get popped by this Broly uh, right now. And yeah, I'm trying to be on the lookout for that grab. And yeah, I'm just looking for a way out. I get caught by the uh, the assist, which is fortunate for me because it let me out. And yeah, he tags into 17 and let's see what happens now. Now a lot of 17s, yeah, a lot of 17s like to go for Rekka mid-screen. Especially the H version because it kind of catches you off guard. Whenever you see that little meter burn, that meter burn uh, Rekka, you kind of freeze for a moment because you're like, oh shit. And then he he goes behind you and you're dealing with it all of a sudden. And uh, yeah, you just see me kind of just jump in the neutral using that, that, uh, that GT Goku to control the airwaves and... While he's controlling the airways, I'm trying to get in on him, but yeah, it didn't work out for me. Uh, Frieza really just putting an end to me. Frieza and Broly, once again, like I said, I think these two are just like destined to be together on the same team. They work great on the same team. Great zoners. The best zoners in the game to me. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really getting a, a, a first class ass whooping uh, with them and learning, you know, to respect them. And yeah, deal with it. And yeah, he, he's one of the guys that I see making use of assist extended or extend, extension combos using the assist. And uh, yeah, I don't see it too much, especially uh, I personally don't do it because I like to keep the pressure. But he's putting me in exact places, as you saw right there. He's putting me in exact places. He has his block streams. He has his setups. He has his baits to where he pretty much, he has it down to a science for himself. To He knows where he's looking and what he can do, when he can do it what's safe what's not safe and yeah it, it he's one of those guys that he's one of the one of the tougher people to actually be especially if this wasn't in lag he probably would have did e an, an even bigger number on me now you guys may have noticed that i did a little hop in the air immediately once he dashed at me with the with the uh, sparking on reason for that is because when you dash up and they start attacking you it changes the height in which they can do that block string you guys already know that air block string everybody does to you know get you to the ground and when you jump up a little bit if they don't change their timing you'll be able to go underneath them uh but it didn't work out that way and i ate a full combo into level three and i have to deal with that broly mix up again i was looking for any reason to spark i was gonna spark regardless even if he just stood there because i didn't want to deal with the pressure and it, it just happened to work out for me and right there you saw me drop in the combo once again just you know shout outs to that lag but yeah uh right here he's uh he really has me on the back the back foot right now. I'm backpedaling. Just trying to get just trying to get something off. I wanna get I wanna touch him. Uh, not not in that way. <laughs> I wanna touch him just to just to kind of feel my offense coming or being able to do something and 
thankfully I was able to do it, but he killed the momentum once he did that uh that delayed wake up. You know, it really I wasn't ready for it and it it just threw me off. And uh yeah, once again, like I said, I'm not too afraid of the Rekkas if they're not if I'm not blinded by assist or anything because um they're pretty easy to react to. But um yeah, he did a great job getting out of there. I don't know if that was intentional, but he, he crossed me up right there. He went, he crossed under, and I wasn't prepared for that. I wasn't prepared to block that, and now I am going to die, I think. Oh, no! He drops it. I, I think he thought that it was going to be, um... I think he thought he still had a smash. And yeah, man. Jesus, just look just look at this zoning. You, like, pay attention to this. This zoning is amazing. Both of these characters, Broly and Frieza... Zoning is great, and when you really make use of it like this guy is, it it's just so deadly, man. Now, was I able? Yeah, I was able to actually take down Frieza. Luckily, luckily. <laughs> and here comes 17. And yeah, I, I wanted to start off by just going at him. Uh, I normally don't super dash, you know, from match start or round start. Um, so I just went ahead and tried something different. And right there, I think he was going to try and back dash. But once again, that... uh. That Goku auto combo, the second hit, it's like a he's charging at you, so it will always eat it, it will always eat you up. But yeah, right there, we were playing the zoning game. My command may have caught him at the angle, and right here, I baited him, uh, hoping he would press the button, and fortunately for me, he did. And uh, yeah, I was able to snatch the win on this match. Now that's going to be the last match for this video, but once again, like I said guys, if this is something you're interested in, if this is something you want to see more of on the channel, please go ahead and leave a like and comment down below letting me know this is something you want to see more of. And you guys let me know what is there I can do better, was there something you felt was missing or that I could do better, or whatever, just, just let me know your guys' opinion on the video itself. If you guys are subscribed or if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe with the notification bells on. Even if you're already subscribed, guys, make sure to tap that notification bell because YouTube has already confirmed that you will not get notifications unless you tap that bell. So tap the bell to stay informed, guys, and just to see my content. But either way, thank you guys so much for rocking with me. And until next time, Space Cowboys. Bang.